Hey guys and girls, and in today's video we're going to be talking about pi and we're also going to be talking about radians. Pi is a mathematical constant which means it's a fixed number that never changes and it's approximately equal to 3.14 and this number is the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter. So if we imagine that we have a circle, so here's our circle, and this red dot is the center of the circle. The distance from the center to the edge of the circle is called the radius. So let's write down radius. And the distance from one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle is called the diameter. And finally, the distance of this black line that goes all around the circle is called the circumference. So the first thing we need to know is that the diameter is always double the radius. So for instance, if the radius has a value of 0 0.5, that would mean the diameter would be double the radius and would have a value of 1. Because pi is the ratio between the circumference to the diameter, to work out the circumference, all we need to do is multiply the diameter by pi. So 1 times 3.14 equals 3.14. So we know that the circumference is equal to pi, which is 3.14. Let's now do it again, but this time, instead of using 0.5 as the radius, let's use the value of 1. So if the radius has a value of 1, we know that the diameter should have double the value of the radius. So this will be a value of 2. And to work out the circumference, what we need to do is multiply the diameter by pi. So if I get the calculator and say 3.14 multiplied by 2 equals 6.28. So we know the circumference is 6.28. So what this means is the green radius line can fit into the black circumference line 6.28 times. And this brings us nicely into the concept of radians. So if we watch this animation, we can see that the red line indicates the radius and we can use this radius line to calculate one radian. So here you can see an angle of one radian and here is an angle of two radian and three radian and here is pi radian which is 3.14 radian and we can also have a full 360 degrees is 6.28 radian. So hopefully this explains why 180 degrees is equal to pi radians and 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. Thank you for watching my video and if you have any more questions feel free to leave a comment down below.